My name is Chris Dobbins. I'm an associate professor of music at Washington and Lee University in Lexington, Virginia. Um, my job there at Washington and Lee uh, is the director of instrumental activities. So I am the conductor of the University Wind Ensemble and the University Orchestra. And then I teach courses sort of related to that. Uh, but a unique aspect at Washington and Lee is our spring term, which is a four week term at the end of the year where students are meant to take experiential courses. Um, so I'm fortunate to be able to uh, tap into my passion for Irish music and literature and bring students to Ireland for four weeks every other year, um, which is sort of why I'm here. So I knew when I came to Washington and Lee about the four week term and I knew that if I had to teach in the four week term, I wanted to do something experiential outside of campus, out of Lexington. Um, and I have a passion for Ireland and was connected to DGE um, as an option for a third party provider so that we had the ability to have somebody else take care of the local logistics involved in trying to put together an academic course in a place that isn't necessarily um, built for academics um, and not necessarily built for students going to school. And so, uh, so I was connected with DGE in that way, um, and which is how, how we ended up in Dingle as well. I think it's important that uh, the, the experience for the students is different than what they would get if they were on our campus. So Dingle Global Educators, Education, Dingle Global Education, um, is, is valuable because they can provide academic space if we need it, but can also provide um, outdoor space and unique classrooms um, that, aren't the, that aren't the same as what we have in the United States. And so for me, actually, it was important that we had the ability to have traditional lectures, but also um, the opportunity to use a non-traditional classroom space, um, non-traditional learning experiences and, and opportunities, and for the students to be, be able to really uh, put their feet on the ground and learn to live here. The, the best part of the program in Dingle is having the opportunity to know the students in a non-academic setting. Um, so the, the grades and the assignments become less important than the experiences and the conversations. And I think that that's a really valuable part of what DGE offers. And I'll just say also, if it was me planning this trip on my own, I probably would do it in a place like Dublin or a place like Galway that has more traditional academic infrastructure. But I don't think that the experience would be nearly as deep for the students. And so I'm glad I was connected with DGE and had the opportunity to come to Dingle and do the course here. So I think uh, that the connections that I've made with the students here in Ireland, I, I can take those back, some of them. Some of them are gonna graduate. This is the, the, their last week of classes. Um, some of them I will teach again. Some of them will return to campus, but I'll never see them in a classroom environment again because they're not music majors or they're not gonna take any of the classes that I offer that non-majors can take um, because they're, getting, they're, they're taking care of their, their music or arts requirement right now um, in Ireland. But I think that what it does more than anything else is helps the students that I will interact with again see me less as a professor and more as a human and that's important to me. So many impactful experiences getting to spend four weeks um, in the west of Ireland. I think that um, one of the most impactful experiences for me and I think the students would share it would be um, our trip up and down Slayhead with Brother Sean um, getting to learn more about the history and the culture of the area um, Again, really just putting our feet on the ground and, and getting out even of the small town of Dingle um, to really experience the West of Ireland. Um, and you know, I know the students a, really like holding baby sheep. There's a little baby sheep farm there along Slayhead that we got to stop at. So I'm, I know some of them were really, uh, they were liking that. <laughs> I, I think that the, the historical sites that we were able to visit around Slayhead helped make connections in the music and the literature that we were studying. Um, as you're standing there on Slayhead and you're looking out over the ocean, you can see the Blasket Islands, which connects to both music and literature that we study. You can see, uh, sort of in your mind's eye, how people in the west of Ireland used to live. Um, certainly you can see how they live now and sort of make all those, all those connections between sort of what we're studying in a more academic sense in the classroom and then what we're experiencing when we get to go out into the field. DG helped facilitate uh, my study abroad program in a lot of different ways. Um, number one, just basic logistics, housing, meals, and that sort of stuff. I would have had no idea how to get housing for 20 students on my own. Um, beyond that, um, the ability to help enhance the academic program by bringing in guest lectures, guest musicians, guest presenters from the local area and the region that is specific to the course that I'm teaching. Um, 
And for that matter, I could have asked Sean Paul and Linka for something that had nothing to do with my class and they would, they would have smiled and figured out a way to get that person to, to come in. Um, and again, those are things I would, I'd, have, I'd have no way to be able to get a hold of local musicians to dingle or to ca and, and carry um, to have them come perform for our class or to get somebody that's a specialist in, in folklore and storytelling to be able to come in. I don't know those people. I don't have those connections. Um, beyond that, it's a, it was important to me that my students had sort of a traditional European city experience as well. And so um, DGE was able to organize a, a couple night trip to Cork where the students were able to experience a more traditional European city since they've been living in a village for a couple of weeks at the time that we did that and sort of compare and contrast what those two lifestyles are like and then again how they're different from the small town that my university's in and the places that they come from in the United States and abroad. Um, none of that would have been possible. If I had to organize it myself, we would have been on a bus changing locations every three nights and it would have driven the students and myself mad. Working with DGE allows me to come here and be a professor first, but also take part in the experiences with the students without having to worry about the details behind the scenes. I mean, certainly I'm involved in that stuff, helping to make final decisions and this and that, but for the most part, the work's done. You get to put your feet on the ground in Ireland and run your program, have the experiences with your students um, that are really meaningful without having to get bogged down in some of the day-to-day -day details that are involved um, I plan my own band and orchestra tours back in the United States, and I can say I don't get to experience those tours with my students because I'm running them. Um, so coming here, working with DGE, and knowing that I've got Sean Paul and Linka um, just a phone call away really frees me up to take in the full experience and makes it more meaningful for me, certainly. And I hope that because it's more meaningful for me, it's more meaningful for my students as well. I would tell other faculty um, that might be thinking about some sort of a study abroad option, uh, regardless of the length of that experience, that partnering with DGE is the best way to go about experiencing Ireland. Um, Sean Paul and Link are around 24-7 to help with any problems. So a lot of those traditional fears about, well, what do I do if a student gets sick? What happens if a student's bank card quits working? What happens if a student doesn't tell me that they're allergic to food and we have to find something for them for sustenance? Um, they're, they're just a phone call away. You call DGE and the problem gets taken care of. Um, the students are happy and it's flexible and adaptable enough, the programming, that whatever you want the experience to be for your students is easy to make happen. And those are all just things that you don't have to worry about. So you really are taking what you do at home, being a professor, and you're getting to do that in another location, sort of without any additional worries or cares. It's the same thing as teaching at home but you get to do it in Ireland and that's better. Not be a tour operator, but be a professor.